everyone, it's Loretta. Thank you for joining me today. I have a share for you. This will be episode 26 of my craft fair series 2018, where I share what I'm making, how I make it, and what I'm charging for my very first craft show, which is the 28th of July 2018. So, this basically is the stationary box that I made in a previous episode. There is a series of three videos on how to make it and decorate the box itself. So what I decided was to use the box idea and make a recipe box. So here's the top, and this, this bow and paper is from Doodlebug. The rest of the paper is either from Cardabella or Echo Park. And so you just take the top off and then just like a stationary box, here are all the cards for the recipes, and I made dividers, and then there are regular recipe cards in here. I decorated the, this front right here with some stickers from the collection, and then down here is a small book with a matching pen. Now you could actually turn this book sideways as well. Now one thing I did do different is that this is um, attached into place with Velcro. And as you can see that that ripped apart. No mistakes at stamping, just embellishment opportunity, so I fixed it. I am gonna let this dry, but you could also put it this way instead. Um, you could use index cards that uh, you made a sleeve for here and put in the box, but here's the deal. I wanted to make just a box for cards. And I tried to do just that. There are a couple of tutorials here on YouTube of people making them and they use two eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper and basically make two boxes that join together. That is all well and fine, kudos to you. I do not have that kind of patience. Here's the one I came up with. How cute it would hold recipe cards, right? Well, that's where you'd be wrong. It holds them. Problem is, it is way, way too tall for this. Nobody wants to reach in here and get paper cut to try to get these out. So, this is still a usable box. It'd be great for making specialty six by six cards and sitting them in here. You can make a big uh, base for the bottom so the cards would sit up. I don't have that kind of time. My craft bears in three weeks. So what I decided to do instead was, um, I had, and I ordered them, Hobby Lobby starting today, which is July the 1st, through next Saturday, which I think is July the 6th, 5th or 6th, something like that. They're running a half off sale on their Paper Studio brand name recipe boxes and cards so they're 50 percent off and uh, you get free shipping for orders over 50 dollars which when you order 20 boxes wasn't all that hard including 20 sets of recipe cards so i took advantage of that and by the way if your store has something on sale and they don't have enough in stock you can request a rain check and they will order them for you they will be shipped to the store you don't pay shipping and you get the item. I should know I've got some flowers coming for an upcoming craft project for hospice. Anyway, I digress. So I am gonna be buying these recipe boxes and decorating them and putting cards um, and tabs into the boxes and charging $15 for them. I may, if I win an auction, I've got, um, that I'm watching, I should say, on eBay, if I include some recipes, then I might bump the price up by a little bit. But that's what I plan on doing for the craft show. Let me know what you think of my idea down below. If you think that'd sell, if you think $15 is fair, I will be showing those finished boxes once they come in. Um, so anyway, thank you for joining me for this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channels, hit that little bell beside the subscription, and you will be notified when I upload videos. Also, 
Please share my videos on your social media and give me a thumbs up if you've liked them. Thank you so much for your continued support of my channel. Stamp happy and be a blessing. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.